Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel and in this one I'm going to make here one goggles for blind people. So without any further ado, so let's get started. So now let's see the circuit architecture. How can we connect the Arduino Uno and the ultrasonic sensor and also the buzzer. So this is our circuit design and you can see here we need one ultrasonic sensor and one simple buzzer and one simple breadboard and also one Arduino Uno. So you can use here the Arduino Uno and if I see the ultrasonic sensor it have four pin so first pin is called bcc and second one is the trick pin and third one is called the eco pin and the final one is called the ground pin so trick pin and the eco pin are working as a sender and the receiver of the ultrasonic sensor so you need to connect this bcc pin to the five volt of the arduino you know, and the ground to the ground and the eco pin should be go to the six number pin of the arduino you know, and also the trick pin go to the seven number pin of the Arduino Uno. Then we're going to add here one simple buzzer. So it will actually help us to notify the user that something in front of you, right? That means objects. So we are going to add the black one should be the ground and the positive one, it actually give here inside one digital input and output pin. So this is the normal architecture of the system. Just we have one ultrasonic sensor, one buzzers, and Arduino Uno and a simple bad word. Then you can actually use this to calculate the distance of that. So now we're going to see that how can we actually join them and normally how can we measure the distance. And after that, we're going to add it on our goggles. So this is the source code for that. Just normal, just few lines of code. So let's understand the code. Don't worry, I'll put this code link in the description. You can just go and download the code and upload it inside your Arduino board. See, uh, I declare here three variables. So first one for the trick pin, you can see also see that as a pink pin. Number seven, we need to connect it in the Arduino board. And number six is called eco pin. And number eight is called buzzer, right? Just we're going to add them inside the Arduino board. Then what I'm going to do here, we are going to actually create here one uh, function and it already inside your Arduino board. How I'm actually making here a new file, you get here the setup file and the loop file. So inside the setup file, we actually add here the serial.begin because you're going to see that inside our serial monitor. That's mean this is our serial monitor. Then what I'm going to do here, we are going to create here one loop and it already created by Arduino ID by default. So I need to create here a new empty file. So then what I'm going to do here, we are going to declare here three variable. First one is durations, how many take is sender ra and how many second it will take to back the ra, right? In the ultrasonic sensor. So in the ultrasonic sensor, it have one sender and one, another one is the receiver, okay? So durations and the inches and the centimeter. We don't need the inches, but I actually make it here uh, so that we can also calculate it in, in ins, right? So first time we need to make the pink pin or you can see the trick pin should be the output because this is the output pin and the input pin is nothing but called the eco pin. That's mean eco pin actually taking the input from the user where the object is actually get back to the ray. So it'll take the input and output it will show the pink pin. Okay, so first time you are going to make the pink pin should be the low and after two microseconds you're going to make the pink pin should be high. Now if there are any ray is inside our micro ultrasonic sensor it will actually remove the sensor. Okay, the sensor below. So that's how you make it and after that you're going to add here one delay of 10 microseconds. Then we're going to make the pink pin should be the low and now what you're going to do here you're going to take the input from the users using the eco pin. So when one object is near to the ultrasonic sensor, it will actually send back, send here one ray. So it will actually touch the objects and get back to the ultrasonic sensor. Using the trick pin, it will actually cast the duration, it will cast this ray. And after that, you're going to calculate the duration, how many take, how many times it takes when the ray is sent from the eco pin and how many times it will actually get back to the pink pin. So you're going to use here one method that's called a pulsing. So pulsing actually help us to take the duration. That means how many times it will take it. And based on the time, you are going to convert it into the inches and the centimeter. So this is the code for how can you convert it into the inches and also the centimeter. So this is the code for inch and this is the code for centimeter. We just need to divide it inside by 29 cross by two. This is the formula of that. I'm not going to discuss about that here, right? Then what I'm going to do here, if the centimeter is Less than 12, what are you going to do here? You're going to make the bother should be high and also you're going to make the bother should be low. Then finally, what are you going to do here? You're going to just normally print it inside our serial monitor. Okay, so let's try this out here. Just click on this upload button and it will uploading this code inside the board. 
let's connect it inside my pin. So the co actually pin is actually uh, the USB cord is actually ported inside my laptop. So now what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to click here the upload button and it will actually upload the code inside my Arduino you know. Now you can see here our code is right now uploading and you can now see here done uploading if I click on the serial monitor and you can see here distance so if I make it closer my hand so you can see a 3 centimeter okay okay that's fine really fine so now let's also test it out here in real times let's see so right now you can see here uh, the distance is nothing but 216 centimeter so now if I am trying to use here one box okay and decrease the centimeter and now you can see here our buzzer is right now on because this distance is less than 12 and you can see right now it's 3 centimeter 2 centimeter and now you can see here just normal centimeter right you can see here also you can see here the UC okay right so buzzer is right now on but how can I make it closer, not closer, from the objects? So the buzzer is right now off. So how the person is uh, having some objects? Okay, which one the length or distance is less than 12? So it will actually on the browser. So that's it. Now we're going to add it inside our Google.